Hello, my name is Vitaly Moralenko and I'm a Keysight Digital Application Engineer. And today we are going to talk about latency of automotive Ethernet switches and how to measure it correctly while validating physical layer of automotive Ethernet signals. Essentially, latency can be measured by one of two methods round trip time, RTT, or time to first byte, TTFB. The round trip time method measuring the amount of time it takes between when a client sends a request to the server and when it gets it back. On the other hand, the TTFB measure the amount of time it takes between when a client sends a request to a server and when it receives its first byte of data. My current test setup consists of the Keysight Infinium S series oscilloscope with hardware triggering and decoding capabilities for automotive Ethernet, two differential Infinimax probes, two automotive Ethernet test features with the separation sections, which is required to handle the directional nature of automotive Ethernet signals, two devices, 100 megabit per second, and also my device under test, which is red Pluter switch from Intrepid Control Systems. You can see the block diagram of my test setup on the screen as well. Currently you see how the decoder of the S-series oscilloscope works in general on one of the oscilloscope channels, while I'm transferring lots of data from one device to another and in opposite direction as well. Now let's focus on the automotive Ethernet switch latency measurement. For this purpose, instead of lots of data, I need to send just a ping echo request signal and capture it together with echo reply signal coming from the switch. The challenge is that I need to decode both packets to be able to distinguish them from other no data signal as it presents all the time. Now you see on the yellow trace the signal coming from the transmitter and measured right after the directional coupler of the test fixture, and on the blue trace the signal coming from the switch as an echo reply. We set the trigger system to capture the first Ethernet package on the blue trace channel 3. Using the markers and the round trip time method of calculation you can easily measure the latency which is currently is about 150 microsecond. Of course, what I've measured now, it's not the latency of the switch itself, but the whole latency of my setup, including latency of devices that I have and the Windows-based PCs I'm using to send and receive the echo packets. This latency will be dependent on the DUTs and what they need to process. The actual value of the only switch latency is much lower, of course, but the measurement concept is the same. Some people may be interested not in the latency measurement, but in a more deterministic measurement as a switch delay when analyzing the same packet flowing in and out of the switch. In the current example, the value of such a delay is about 14 microseconds. So, today we have discussed what the latency of automotive Ethernet switches is and how to measure it correctly. I hope you enjoyed the video and now you know definitely which solution can help you with such a challenging measurement task. Good luck with your measurements.